Jesus told his disciples to receive the Holy Spirit and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But how do we do that? How do we mortals receive and be filled with the Spirit of the living God? Today on Pentecost, I want to explore that with you. And the answer will be in two parts. Firstly, our capacity to receive the Spirit. And secondly, our desire. So to start with, there are many people in our society, maybe even majority of people, who would say that the universe is nothing more than atoms, and that we as humans are nothing more than cells, wonderfully arranged. And to such a person, the idea of being filled with the Spirit makes no sense at all. But to anybody who has ever experienced love or loss, to somebody who has felt awe and wonder and sensed the interconnection of themselves with other people and things, knows intuitively that we are more than just atoms and cells, that there is some spiritual part of us, some non-material part of us, which we might call our soul or our spirit. And it is that part of us, that, that part of our nature, that means we do have the capacity to receive God's spirit into ourselves. Two weeks ago, when I spoke about loneliness, we noted that the, the capacity for us to feel alone and to, and to feel empty is because we are made with a space in us which is only for God, that nothing else can ever truly fill, but God's Spirit can and does. And so for us as humans to be filled with the Holy Spirit is not for us to have, to have a square peg thrust into a round hole. No, for us to receive the Spirit is a square peg going to a square hole that was designed for it. We are made for the infinite and the transcendent God who wants to give himself to us through his Spirit. So why do we want the Spirit, though? If you're happy as you are, and if you are listening in confirmation class, you might recall that we already have received the Holy Spirit in baptism and even more so in confirmation. Well, isn't that enough? Surely, what else do we need? But I don't think just receiving the Spirit once is something binary. Well, that's it, it's over with. Just as in marriage, you don't say, that's it, I'm married, that's the end of it. No, how much does your experience of the Holy Spirit transform every part of your, your thinking, your speaking, your actions, and how you feel about yourself in the way that a good and deep marriage, as the years progress, does transform every part of yourself and your actions? This is what the ongoing indwelling of the Holy Spirit does to us. We are transformed by the Spirit. So how do we receive the Spirit? Is we simply ask. God wants to give, so we just need to be open and want to receive. And the simplest and best prayer we can pray is, Come, Holy Spirit. Pray that with me now. Come, Holy Spirit. And as you pray that, be aware of your own soul, your own spirit. But what part of you are you asking God to come into? Be aware, be conscious and focus as you invite the Spirit in, deeper and deeper into you, in that most central place of your heart. And then, focus on what it is you are asking God's Spirit to do. In the three scripture readings we hear for the Pentecost Mass today, we hear the Holy Spirit gave some disciples capacity to forgive sins, others capacity to speak in tongues and communicate effectively. But St. Paul wrote in his letter that the Spirit gives a variety of gifts, there are so many things which the Holy Spirit can do for us. St. Paul also wrote that the fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, generosity, and self-control. So if you need any of those things, and goodness, don't we all, then pray for the Holy Spirit to come and fill you and ask for those fruit to manifest in you and out of you. If you need courage or wisdom, there's something difficult you've got to face, they're the gifts of the Spirit, so pray for the Holy Spirit to come and give you those gifts. And if you're feeling kind of flat, kind of ordinary, then know that the word inspiration contains the word spirit in it. To be inspired is to have the spirit in us. And the word enthusiasm is, means entheos, theos being the Greek word for God. So to be enthusiastic is to have God through the spirit in us. So if you need enthusiasm or inspiration, Pray for God's Holy Spirit to come fill you. We are meant to receive the Spirit. We are made for this. 
We are meant to be spirit-filled people, fully alive. And this good news begins with Jesus rising from the dead, but it reaches its pinnacle when we are filled with the spirit of the living God and the risen Christ. So pray that again with me now. Come, Holy Spirit, and may the Holy Spirit fill your hearts today and always. God bless you.